I'm Charlie Bright of Gold Derby, and I am hosting this uh, television cinematographer panel, and we are talking with Boris Majofs Majofsky uh, from the show Titans on HBO Max. Uh, first question I wanted to ask was, how did you approach establishing the look for the show uh, at the beginning of its run? Because you've been with the show since it, uh, since it premiered. Yeah, I, I, I did the pilot for it, and it was interesting for somebody, you know, for a Bosnian refugee to do a, a superhero show. Uh, it was, I don't know how that match happened, but uh, because I didn't really grow up with those characters. So uh, luckily our showrunner, Greg Walker, and I uh, kind of found a common language in trying to, you know, ground the show as uh, as much as possible uh, in, in that world to kind of emphasize the characters and what they go through and not really uh, rely on the comic book elements they, they were just you know there because they were they were the costumes etc um so we tried to uh make it as dark as possible as desaturated as possible and uh as uh as cool in color as possible that, that those were the goals uh to kind of take the edge off and, and make it make it kind of gritty and and uh and and seemingly seemingly real now uh, did you uh look at uh, to other shows in the DC universe that are, you know, within this realm, uh, for what you want, for uh, what you wanted the show to look like, did you look at that at all, or did you uh, try to keep uh, uh, try to keep that separate? Well, because I didn't know much about the world, uh, we tried. We were asked to do a show. Um, we had, you know, I guess more money than than some of the other uh, superhero shows, and uh, and we we were asked to to make it feel different. Uh, than most of those other shows, um, and uh, and that was kind of like you know we tried to like our, our color palette, our approach to you know um, kind of painterly approach to like nodal camera and you know extremely soft single single source lighting, etc. Um, I think that like you know we just went with the, with all the drama elements that I kind of come from from the you know independent film world. And uh, we apply that to a superhero show, and it was an interesting, interesting mix. Uh, I did obviously educate myself in in the you know I had to learn about the universe, and it's quite interesting to see those characters and how you can actually um, you can manipulate something that's already in the comics and not necessarily give that to the audience, but kind of spin it a little bit. That that creates um, interesting twists uh, visually and uh, thematically. Uh, how has the look of the show evolved for you since the show premiered? Well, we were, um, the show starts in Detroit and then uh, moves to Gotham and then, uh, and then goes to San Francisco only to come back. Uh, and, uh, and we, um, the environments change the, the, the look a lot. I mean, the, the location, I guess, of the, of the story. But also, uh, it's very important to me to kind of follow or set the mood for for the scenes and or or the storylines that, that are happening. And we had multiple ones, and we have a lot of characters and very big environments all the time. And uh, so, you know, if we were in industrial environments in, in you know season three, uh, it was quite dark and and very very that industrial feel is very prominent everywhere. In San Francisco, everything was a little more posh, so it, it had maybe a little more color. A little, it was a little warmer, uh, and the constant was the same or similar philosophy to lighting, which is you know as big of a source as close to the characters. You mentioned uh, just a, a couple minutes ago about how um, you wanted to make the show look gritty, and and what sort of what sort of process goes into making something. Uh, look gritty, especially when you're taking something that already from its source material has such a distinctive look to it. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I um, <laughs> it's uh, you can make obviously uh, stuff look gritty by like you know breaking the waves is very gritty, uh, but that's not what we were doing. Uh, it we made it gritty mostly by um, uh, designing the environments in such a way where they feel. Uh, like places that you don't want to be, uh, places where you know characters are forced to go, uh, creating a lot of um, a lot of dark, dark uh, spaces where you can barely see, but you have enough info to see 
uh, things that come from the darkness, things that um, kind of the light that never penetrates, that never is allowed to come in. And when it, when it is, it quickly dissipates or, or it doesn't get to, uh, to reach the areas where your eye really wants to go to see the characters, et cetera. So we, you know, we, we try, try very hard to, to consciously um, not allow uh, the audience always to be satisfied with what, uh, what they get to see at the moment they want to see it and kind of delay it. And then, you know, they can, you know, they can see the moments that after we delay, which is kind of, you know, essentially very dramatic. You, you mentioned uh, the whole, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, working it with darkness and trying to highlight certain things in darkness. How do you, how do you find that balance? Because that is such a, a difficult, I, can, I, I must imagine that must be such a difficult thing to try to find that balance for that. I, I think you, you, you have to attempt to, to do what feels right, what, what's lo, what, what has emotional logic uh, uh, within scenes or, or sequences or, or episodes. Uh, but I think uh, overthinking that leads to, uh, to second guessing, which, you know, like you can always ask yourself, is, is this too dark? Uh, and, you know, just when you when you when you ask yourself that um you, that means that somebody else is asking that too <laughs> uh you know on the network or studio level uh but we've been lucky like we, we, we've been i've, I've been th this show we've been uh like everybody has been so uh supportive of our of our look that and and we were able to be so daring like so um uh kind of like we we took things to as as far as we wanted as we felt they should be taken and you know our dark the darkness is our signature uh you know and and the fans of the show have accepted that and we have a huge like we're lucky we have a huge fan base given to us so it was about like inviting them to kind of see this world through our eyes uh, the world that they have so many expectations about so um for the most recent season uh what were the most difficult scenes to shoot the most difficult scenes to shoot. Well, we had a, um, well, as a cinematographer, I direct the show as well, and, and I directed episode uh, nine, which is uh, which happens to be played. Uh, it's it, it happens in, in Purgatory, and the episode is black and white. It was shot by John Joffin, and we had a a bridge between uh, you know between life and death. Uh, it was a symbolic thing, and, and it, it happened in this great darkness and and that probably was the the most difficult sequence because there's a big fight as our characters get to the bridge and they have to cross and as they cross we go back into color and we explain why the whole thing was black and white so that episode in general was the most difficult but luckily i didn't have to shoot it john joffin did uh, <laughs> and as um cinema we had we also had um the uh, an episode that i shot uh episode three i think in this in the third season um, there's a big sequence that takes place um, at night in the forest, and that kind of sourceless night uh, is super hard to achieve in uh, in the forest. And I remember, you know, I remember really struggling to get there and uh, and to kind of make it as believable as possible. Um, that that took a lot of preparation. Do you have, uh, uh, is there a character that you find that you enjoy shooting their scenes more than others, uh, just because of the way like the character's written or something like that? Well, I, I don't, uh, well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I don't know, I, I'm gonna, I, I did this season, I, I did another episode as a director and, I, and it was the, the, the origin story of Red Hood. And, um, with uh and, and the roles played by current uh who um who really really um rise to the occasion and we kind of made our own little movie that was not connected to well it was connected but it was kind of it was a standalone movie from the from the rest of the series and i really enjoyed doing that we, we shot the whole episode on 24 mil and we we were close to uh to current's face the whole time and moved with him everywhere it was it was our little uh, you know our little version of Joker, uh, but named Red Hood. Uh, so, so I really, really enjoy that, and I enjoyed his performance, and I enjoyed that transition that he uh, he achieved during that uh, 
during that particular episode. Again, I didn't shoot it, John Joffin did, but, um, but I was there. <laughs> well, uh, Boris, uh, thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you on our panel in just a little bit. Thank you.